making your bike more comfortable we all do that as soon as we get a new bike we change things out to make it more comfortable for us i purchased a couple items to make my 2021 road glide limited more comfortable for me when riding stay tuned and see what i did All right, I purchased from Ciro 3D a new set of frame mounted adjustable highway peg mounts. They mount to the frame of your bike, not the regular highway pegs that you put on your uh, crash bar. I wanted something a little bit more sturdy. And uh, also because, uh, you know, I have the front fairing on, the, on my crash bar, so the highway pegs don't mount very well. And highway pegs on your crash bar sometimes loosen up and slide down. So I wanted something more permanent, more, not more permanent, but more uh, durable. So I got these in black and I got the regular size. They come, they also come with extra, extra length section. There, it comes in a nice package, all wrapped up. When I get ready to install this, I'm not going to go through all the unwrapping, but it comes in a real good package. Also, I did not buy the foot pegs. From Zero 3D, they have uh, your foot pegs are separate. These are just the mounts to the frame. Foot pegs are separate, and I did not care for any of the foot pegs that they sold. They are pretty. Uh, other people use them. My taste, I did not like them. I wanted to match it with uh, some pure rock and stuff that I already have on the bike. So I ordered this off of Amazon, and it's from T T C M T. I got the foot pegs from them. Plain black rubber. They look decent. Gloss black. They come in different. They come in chrome. They come in flat black. And I got the gloss black. And they're way cheaper than Zero 3D. I will get ready to set up to install these on the bike. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. I'm over at my brother's house. Got the bike in the wheel chalk. You know, and uh, strapped down a little bit. So I can uh, work on this uh, highway peg. So I can work on the highway pegs. And make sure that everything's... Uh, up off the ground there in the, in the kickstand and stuff. So I'm going to start on the right hand side of the bike first. So I have everything opened up here, set out. Everything was packaged real nice. Got all this. This is, you know, the Zero 3D highway peg mount. That's all I'm using. I'm using this. And then for the high for the pegs, I'm using TC, TCMT's foot pegs, and I'll show you that later. But right now, I got everything laid out here. Got all the bolts, color color directions. It might be easier. The directions are good. A little, you know, a little confusing. The pictures ain't the greatest, but uh, there's a lot of videos out there, so you may be able to use a video or, you know, use my video to help yourself install these if you purchase these. All right. So I'm going to get the bike set up, uh, ready to go, and uh, we'll see how easy this is. Okay. The first step is to take your floorboard, angle it up. All right. With a five sixteenths hex, you're going to take this bolt out. Older models will have a nut behind here, but on this one, it's just, uh, just a hex. And this bolt you will reuse. You got the bolt out. Set that aside. Might want to clean off this, uh, might want to clean off the old Loctite. We're going to put some new ones on. Okay, next, you got your floorboard here. You got your hinge pin. It is a 3 16 Allen. And a 7 16 wrench. Take that out. Okay, got the bolts loosened up. Just pull the pins out. And there's the bracket. We're not going to be reusing that bracket, but we will be reusing the pin. Okay, set that aside. Next, we'll be with the 5 16 we'll be taking out this other bolt. And this one we will not be reusing. Oh. Mm. Woo. All right, so now we have the bracket that's going to mount right here. What we're going to do first is take our hinge pin 
and put our hinge pin back in place with a little Loctite on the nut, I mean on the bolt. And we'll just tighten this back up. We're just gonna put it, they give you a torque spec, but I'm not even gonna do it. You know, it's uh, just tighten that back up snug. All right, the pivot pin is snug tight. Now take your original bolt, put a little extra Loctite on there, and I'm not gonna tighten this up yet. Just putting it back in the hole. Now, from your Zero 3D package, one of the bolts, it's a more of a coarser thread. Put your lock washer on and your regular washer. Put some Loctite on it, and that one goes into this bottom hole. Now, when you get that all tightened up, we're gonna torque it down to uh, 36 to 42 foot pounds. So I'm gonna do 40, but when I get it there, I'll, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see or not, but this bolt was in, in the bracket already. If you're putting it on a Rogue Glide Limited, you might want to take that bolt out because when I was trying to tighten it up, it hit right here. So that's awful close fit. We're going to have to see if this works or not because uh, look at that. That bracket is touching right there. Mm. We're going to have to see about this. So hopefully the bolt, I think the bolt will miss the hole when I put the, the rest of the parts on. So it'll probably be right in here. So that's one little thing you got to keep an eye on. Your lower fairing, if you have a limited or an ultra, or if, if you have one on whatever, you're, if you mount one on to your other bikes, this is awful close. So take that bolt out before you put this on there. I didn't, but I just found out, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna, I got my torque wrench. I'm gonna torque these up to 40. Okay, 40. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is you get your other arm. One side has a big tooth, and that goes on the bracket that you already mounted, like that. So then on this side with the regular teeth, you're gonna take your clevis right here. We're gonna put this together. So you're gonna take one of these smaller bolts with a little Loctite and put it in there and just loosely and just loosely keep it in there for now. So I'm gonna put both of the arms together so they're ready to go for later, like this, just hand tight. And then uh, I'll put them both together so they're ready to go for the other side too. And I'll get back over to the bike and when I mount this on. All right, so now you take your arm and this side has the big tooth on it and then there's a big indentation in here. So you take this bolt that was supplied into this and you put a lock washer on there. Stick it in there and uh, find out where the tooth goes, right in there. And just put it in there somewhere. Tighten it up a little bit. Because you can always, uh, we're going to have to do final adjustments afterward to figure out where you want to keep it. But just tighten it up for now. And then, um, then you can mount the other side. You can put all the stuff on the other side right now. This is... I'm just showing you the Zero 3D stuff right now. Okay, got the arm. So this is all loosely put on there. I'm gonna go do the other side, get it all set up to this way. All right, so I'm gonna put this side together, but just remember this side, see that's why they want, I put it in the wheel chalk because this side you have your kickstand, so your kickstand's in the way. So that's why I have it in the wheel chalk, so it's up. So I'm just gonna put this side together up to where the foot pegs need to come on, okay? So I got the other side on now. Okay. It's all loosely on. All right, now it's time to put on the foot pegs. Okay. Like I said, I'm not using Zero 3D foot pegs. I'm using some uh, TCMT 
foot pegs that I ordered off Amazon. It's one side there. Here's the other side. And it comes with uh, some Allen wrenches. Uh, it has an adjuster here so you can swivel this. All right. And uh, huh. so, all right. And then you just use these two bolts here from your Sierra 3D kit. And your little, uh, I don't know what you want to call this thing. What is this thing called? Hold on, let me look this up. But it goes, you know, right in here or whatever helps you uh, pinch down the, what the hell is that thing called? Let me look here. A few moments later. The D-spring, I guess you want to call it. Yeah, D-spring. It puts pressure on the foot peg, so, you know. So I'll take it back over the bike and put these on. Going to take my TCMT foot peg. Going to take the D-spring. I put the D-spring with the bend. I don't know if you can see. And I'm going to put it right there on the top. Put the bolt in. Okay. Then I'm going to take, this is going to be kind of hard to do. Squeeze that in there. Going to take some finagling. Get the holes lined up. Okay. Huh. There we go. Tighten that up. Um, you're going to have to figure out where you want to do with it. You're going to have to make your adjustments when you get on there. Make some adjustments. Take it for a ride, see if you like it, and make some adjustments. But there. This is what I got for right now. Okay. Looking pretty good. Easy install. Take it for a ride. Make sure it looks, make sure, you know, you get it to where you want to get it. And I'll show you one me sitting on it. I'm sitting on the bike. Got my brake pedal right here. My foot down. So I can put that out there like that, my foot out there, and then my foot here, I could have it like this, have it like this, and then I could also rest my foot on top. I think these are going to be pretty, pretty good. What do you think? Just make some final, final adjustments for yourself, whatever makes you feel comfortable. This is looking like the way it's going to be for me, I think. And uh, yeah. I think I'm going to be happy with this. All right. That's my install video of the Serial 3D highway peg mounts. Standard size. There's a couple different sizes. Uh, there's this, the regular size, which I got. And then you got the extended arms, which for taller riders and put the arms out there longer. They come in black or in chrome. I got these off Amazon. Links will be in the description below. Same price as if you ordered them from Zero 3D, but I was ordering some other stuff from Amazon, so I got it from Amazon. Links will be in the description below. And then I got my foot pegs from Amazon also, but they're by uh, TCMT, another motorcycle company that has been putting out a lot of products lately. Uh, I like those because they kind of match the rest of my stuff, I, you know, and they're, they're cheaper than Zero 3D. Looks good to me. That's the end of my video. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you're notified of when new videos come out. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Uh, you know, hey, never said I'm a mechanic. Things take me a little bit longer to do. Excuse me. Itchy nose. So things do take me a little bit longer because I'm not a real mechanic. I have to read things a few times, maybe look at a couple videos, you know, out there. But I do get the job done eventually. I did splurge and buy these Zero 3Ds and then uh, regular highway pegs that go on the crash bars.
I wanted something more sturdy. That's why I got it. But then I did buy a cheaper foot peg. Because most of the foot pegs are 3 d were $100 too. So and I got these, I don't remember, 30 bucks maybe. Whatever the link will be in the description below for the TCMT foot pegs. And they're, and they're good. And they match my other stuff. You know, they kind of match my Karaka ones that I put for my wife's pegs. Hey, sometimes you got to cut corners on some of the prices, you know. But anyway, leave a comment below. What do you think? And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.